everyone so if you saw my creed review you will hint know that i at the end i hinted i would be doing a superhero review well i figured seeming as x-men apocalypse is right around the corner and it seems to be the only subject that we like to talk about at school i figured what better movie to talk about than x-men so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna cover every single x-men movie I'm going to try to upload them as much as I can leading up to X-Men Apocalypse. I can't be guaranteed that I'll do them all. I might just do the first three. I'll have to see what happens, but I will try to do as many as I can. So let's talk about X-Men. X-Men was really kind of the first superhero movie we got. I mean, yeah, technically you could argue that the Blade movies came before those, but really, at the time, who would really heard of Blade? I mean, people knew who Blade was, but they didn't really know he was a Marvel property. And uh, X-Men was really kind of the first movie that kind of established the Marvel uh, company as a movie franchise. So this movie is kind of the basic kind of origin story, like how Wolverine came to meet the X-Men, and it shows how he fits in with the group, and how he's kind of... It shows the mutants as outcasts from the humans and it kind of revolves around this plot where some politicians are trying to issue a regulation where all mutants should uh, register to the government so that the government know that they're mutants because they feel that mutants are too dangerous. And evidently the bad guy in the movie, Magneto, played by Ian McKellen, is kind of a freedom fighter of sorts for the mutants and he's really not happy with this. So he feels that he should take out the government with his big evil scheme. And of course it's up to the X-Men and the newly joined Wolverine to stop them. Now I have to say, X-Men is a really, really well-directed movie. I mean, it's directed by Brian Singer. You might know him for directing the movie The Usual Suspect, which if you haven't seen, do, because it's awesome. And they hired him as the director because Brian Singer, he's one of those directors who's able to juggle all these different characters without making the story seem too jumbled or muddled. And he does that really well in this movie, so Brian Singer was a really good decision for the director. In terms of the acting, most of it is great. Uh, Hugh Jackman, of course, is great as Wolverine. And the thing is, he wasn't really meant to be Wolverine at first. They'd originally cast an actor called Dougray Scott to do it. And then when he couldn't do it, uh, they hired Hugh Jackman. And I have to say, this is Jackman's defining role. It's like everyone's saying that man was born to play Wolverine. You then got Patrick Stewart playing Charles Xavier or Professor X and he is the head of this mutant academy where he kind of shelters young mutants and helps them to control their powers. He was really good in the movie as well. Ian McKellen does a great job as Magneto in the movie. I have to say Magneto is probably one of the most likable villains in any movie ever because he's he's got likable qualities, you know where he's coming from, you know why he's doing this because he feels that mutants are being treated unfairly. And that's really the basis of these movies, like the whole thing about the mutants being treated unfairly. So it works really well in the movie and McKellen does a great job with that. In terms of other actors, you got uh, Halle Berry who plays Storm, she was really good. Uh, Famke Jessen who plays Jean Grey, she was also good. Uh, James Marsden who plays Cyclops, he was good as well for the amount of screen time he had. I'll get more into that later. Uh, Anna Paquin plays Rogue, who is this kind of unstable mutant who has the ability to drain the life force out of someone when she touches them. She was probably one of the best actors in the movie and a really good role for her. Now, what I meant earlier about Cyclops not getting enough screen time, that is one of my main problems with the movies. Some of the characters are very underused. They're in there, but they're not really used that much. Characters like Storm, Jean Grey, Cyclops, these characters are very important in the X-Men universe, but they're not really used that much. They have some decent amount of screen time, but it's just they're not very pivotal characters in the story. But they do eventually become more pivotal, but in this movie, they're not really used that much, and that was kind of a disappointing factor 
Also, some of the villains feel a bit underused, like there's not one, not two, not three, but four villains in this movie. And really, the only two that are really established are Magneto, who is great, and Mystique, who is played by Rebecca Romage. And she was fine for what she had to be. But the other two mutants, which are Sabretooth and Toad, barely get any screen time and barely any dialogue because... They won't really use that much in the story, and they don't really feel that important, and that is a kind of disappointing factor, because I liked reading of these characters in the comics. And my final flaw with this movie is some of the visuals, not all of them hold up very well. I mean, yes, this was made in the year 2000, where there were some good visual effects, but some of them look a bit weird, like, for example, you know, Cyclops' eye laser, it looks really good for the most part, but there are a few shots where his laser, you can tell it's been digitally inserted by CGI. In some shots it looks fine, but in others it looks like they just digitally inserted it to fire the laser, and that was a little annoying at times. I'm gonna give X-Men a B plus. I think it's a very good superhero movie. It's a great introduction to the franchise. It really meshes all the characters well. But some of the underuse of the characters does make the movie a little annoying and some of the visuals don't hold up just as well. But I still had a really fun time with it. Guys, thank you so much for watching. As always, my review for X-Men 2 will be coming very soon. And until then, take care.